Thanks students. Welcome to Vistas Learning Classes. I am your Max Tutor, Shruti. Well, as by the title itself, you would have gone through. Let's not come into the actual session. Let's have some chit chat. Yes, if my voice is audible, please do comment. If not, please let me know. Well, to say about myself, I am a Bangalorean. So, born and brought up here itself. So, I completed my education, everything under Bangalore University. That is Masters, BA and presently planning for the doctorate also. As you know, learning never ends. I hope everyone are safe. So, in our daily basis, we discuss with n number of students. That is, we have a discussion regarding the pandemic situation and also, how are you feeling in this online classes? That is, you have to be apart from your offline classes. So, we get a mixed reaction. So, for people who say that offline classes is better, I would say this. But our health is also more important. We have to adapt ourselves to this technology. And also, don't worry, if you are unable to understand your online classes, school classes or whatever it is, we are always there for you. Because we at Vistas Learning provide quality education for all. And our main motto is to reach out sections of all the society. Now, we are working hard only towards one intention that is to redefine it is not only right to education, it is right to quality education. You can find us more in your, all the social media platforms that is Facebook and also Instagram etc. Now, I hope in your class you would have learned many things under mathematics that is numbers, ratios and proportions, decimals, fractions etc. Is it so? Now, you can ask one question. Ma'am, what are we learning in this? Class 7. Well, it's very easy. But, you have to practice daily. For the people who say that Max is difficult. No, you lack practice. That is the one main thing you have to remember. So, whenever the teacher completes. So, go practice in a day at least 40 minutes or 45 minutes. Take your time. Personal time. Now, I would like to say something which my teacher said. So, to increase your memory. I hope everyone are fond of this, right? So, to increase your memory. So, in the on empty stomach, eat just 4 to 6 badam daily. Especially morning time. I hope this might give a result. You can comment in the comment section also. Well, what is the chapters? What are the chapters in the class 7? It is very easy. So how about the first chapter? That is integers. So before coming to the first chapter, let me just have a word. That is integers. I hope you have never have heard about this. You would have heard about numbers, natural numbers, right? So what is this? What did I just do? So I have just had a count. So in your mind, when I just showed this one, you started counting from number 1, right? Yes. So numbers which you are able to count naturally. So those are called as natural numbers. I hope now you won't forget this definition. So this is 3, this is 5. So and you started counting from number 1. Yes. Let me show you some examples over here. So what is this picture depicts? So this picture is, oh God, it is such a rainy day. Okay. So how about this picture? Oh God, it's so cold over here. So everything here, it is speaking about temperature, right? So the temperature is increasing, decreasing, etc. On a sunny day, it might increase, right? Yes. So now, after seeing this two example, what comes to your mind? Yes, it is something about numbers itself. But what exactly ma'am? I am unable to guess it. Okay. So let's come to the actual definition of the integers. So before that, I hope you know natural numbers. Have you heard about whole numbers? Just think about the ruler example. So in the ruler, 
what is the number starting from? It is starting from 0, right? Have you ever wondered why is it starting from 0 itself? No, just think about it. Yes, it, the number starting from 0, it is called as whole numbers. So we have looked into two numbers that is natural numbers and also whole numbers. Okay, let's define what is integers by recalling this two words. Okay, so integers. Integers is nothing but it is a collection of whole numbers and the negative numbers. Ma'am, what is negative numbers? Just think about the imaginary scale. So your scale starts from 0, 1, 2, 3 and this goes on. That is the ruler. Just think about having the mirror images. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So it is nothing but an imaginary scale. Right? Yes. So these numbers are infinite. So combination of all these numbers is nothing but integers. So it is nothing but whole numbers and a set of negative numbers. Right? So I hope you won't forget this definition. Yes. How does this look like? So in your primary class, you would have seen something about number line. Is it so? Yes. This is nothing but number line. So how is this looking? So this is looking like left and right arrow marks. You can ask a question. Why ma'am? Why we have to put arrow marks itself? As you know, numbers are infinite. So, arrow mark depicts that the number goes on. Okay. So, you can see over in the center portion over there. So, 0 is neither in the blue color or in the red color. So, positive numbers are from 1 to 6 and it goes on. So, again negative numbers are from minus 1 to again minus 6 and this goes on. What about 0? Zero? 0 is Neither negative nor positive. You have to remember this. You might get a question regarding this. Okay. So I hope this is just a recall of your 6th standard. Now, there is something important. Is minus 5 greater or 5 greater? Just remember one thing. So positive, nothing is there means positive. So positive is nothing but it is increasing. Minus is nothing but it is coming down. So the value of minus 5 is lesser when compared to positive sign of 5. I hope you remember now. Okay. Now, let us look into one more thing. That is one main important thing about this number line. So as you see this, when you just fold this one, fold this one, what do you get? So 1 falls on 1, that is 1 falls on minus 1. 2 falls on minus 2. Neglect about 0. Just ignore 0 for a while. Okay. So these are called as mirror image. So on wording this mirror image, you will be getting a new definition that is called as additive inverse. So what is additive inverse? Let's have a look over there. So that is mirror image or called as additive inverse. Now just look over there. So 5 mirror images minus 5. And one more thing you have to remember is when you add a mirror image, your final answer will be 0 because plus and minus get cancelled. So your final answer will be 0. Okay. Now, what is plus 6 and minus 6? So that is nothing but 0. You can write any number. What is plus 999 and minus 999? It is again 0 because the value goes on. So you can't restrict yourself to 6, 7, 8. No, because the number line is represented by the arrow mark. I hope now it is clear. So we just saw integers, definition and why 0 is neither negative nor positive. And also the important point that is as the minus sign increases, the value decreases. Okay. And also one main thing, additive inverse. As soon as you hear the word additive inverse, just remember mirror image. Okay. Now, let me ask you a question. Let me see how far you are attentive. Okay. What is the additive inverse of 18? So, 18 additive inverse, nothing is there means it is positive sign. So, 18 additive inverse is nothing but minus 18. So, what is na minus triple 9? So, that is nothing but plus triple 9. You can put a plus sign or not. That is understood. Now, there is something that is alphabet. 
How do you see alphabet? Yes, it is the same thing. So that is minus A additive inverse is nothing but plus A itself. So how about B? So plus B additive inverse is nothing but minus B. I hope it is same for the numbers as well as alphabets also. You might get a question regarding this in our next videos. So please be attentive. Okay. Now, you can ask your question. Okay, ma'am, you are saying natural numbers. You are saying uh, whole numbers. You are saying integers. Okay, I understood everything regarding this. But where it is used? Why I have to study this? Most of the maths uh, who hate Max, they question this. As per uh, my friend circle, my students are there. They question this. Okay, we are studying all this. But where it is exactly used? That is where the actual font of maths, you like it. Yes, maths is found everywhere. But the point is now integers. Where are integers found? Integers are found everywhere. Just let's get back to this. Numbers, numbers are found everywhere. Natural numbers, natural numbers are found everywhere. You can find in your hand also now whole number whole number obviously the number starting from 0 1 2 3 again you can find everywhere in teachers ma'am where is minus symbol found in the real life or our practical life yes let us have a look over one example so what is over here you can see car over there so the car has started the initial position let me see you are driving a car okay you have started the initial position from 0 and you have drove over 5 kilometers. Okay. And now one of your friend is calling you. And you have to get back. So you have. You took a U-turn. And you came over 5 kilometers. But your friend is again calling. I am 2 kilometers apart from you. So what is the extra kilometers you have driven? So that is nothing but extra 2 kilometers. But my question is. What is the distance from the initial position? So, initial position is nothing but you have started from 0, again ended up at 5. Okay. So, you have to subtract it like 5 minus 7. Where most of our students do it as 7 minus 5, which is very wrong. Okay. According to the question, it is distance from initial position. So, that is 5 minus 7. So, what is 5 minus 7? You can't say it as 2. Because the greater number is carrying with a negative sign over there. Okay, so that is minus 7. 7 has negative sign. So that is final answer is minus 2. I hope now you are clear with where all integers is used. You can have a look over the AC also. Okay, air conditioner. Just try out. Let me give that as an assignment. Okay, now you have to find more applications of integers. And just comment in the comment section. Okay, or you can catch us on the social platforms also. Well, I hope now all the things has been clear. So we just had a small intro regarding integers. So what all we learned? We learned integers definition, that is combination of whole numbers and negative numbers. We just had an example how to represent the number line and why zero is neither holding negative sign nor positive sign. And we just saw additive inverse definition. This is very, very important for your exercise problems. Now, additive inverse, just remember the word mirror images. So, this is just a small summary of our entire session. So, next is where are the applications? So, that is integers applications used. So, that is nothing but in our real life. So, finally, we'll be ending up our video. So, we'll catch in the next video with more exercise problems. Isn't it interesting? Please do stay tuned to our videos. And please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.